You can now start your own coffee house without the hassle, without paying the rent. You just need to buy a wheelie. So just imagine I want to quit my job and follow my dream and become a barista. Um, Maria, all I have to do is buy one of your bikes? Yes, starting from 3,500 US dollars. And uh, you can have your own cafe. No rent, no uh, hassle, no electricity bills. And if everyone could just buy one, aren't, isn't there going to be a lot of crappy coffee? No, the Wheelers coffee tastes really well. Uh, it's ecological and uh, fair trade. And it's easy to use then? Yes, it's super easy to use. So, and the first bike rode through Sweden. Um, and where are they all riding right now? Yes, we have, um, we have already sold about 50 bikes to over 10 countries. Uh, so they are in Jordan, Chile, Singapore, um, Germany, Canada, US, and still going strong. Is there a max to how many bikes you can sell to one city? Otherwise, there's maybe too many bike, coffee bikes? We haven't really had that problem yet. Um, some people operate more than one wheelies, um, so that's that's that hasn't been a problem. But you know, you get your own, like uh, one hundred uh, one hundred uh, square meters uh, area that that's yours. So there won't be any other wheelers uh, around that. And and you're a wheeler when you drive wheelie. How can you describe a wheeler? What kind of person is a wheeler? I mean, the, the wheelers are very different people. Uh, they are they can be found uh, found in in different countries. Uh, simply, it's the people who bought a wheeler wheelies from us and and who sells coffee on the streets. Um, and yeah, even though we are in different countries, we communicate uh, on a daily basis with each other and. If you're operating a wheelies in Canada, you can complain about the weather for wheelies Spain and you can get advices. <laughs> cool, Maria. Thank you for sharing your story. Um, if you guys want to know more about owning your own coffee shop on wheels, check out interconnection.com.